Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730. In this video, we're gonna focus on hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R730. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover a couple different things. Uh, we're gonna show you the different types of drives that you can use. We're gonna show you how to use uh, Dell Diagnostics to test your hard drives as well as test a bunch of other components in your machine for that matter. And we're gonna show you another uh, tool that's called HD Sentinel that will let you uh, test the power on hours just in case you were curious uh, how long the your, you know, your drives have been used for. So, all right, let's get rolling. Uh, first things first, there's three types of uh, drives that you can use for this machine. You can use SAS, SATA or solid state drives. All right, so with SAS drives, you can get speeds of 10K and 15K. With SATA, you can get speeds of 7.2K. And technically, there's some 10K that are out there for SATA, but predominantly what you're going to see is 7.2K. And with uh, SSDs, you can get uh, 3 gigabit per second. You can get uh, 6 uh, or all the way up to uh, 12 uh, gigabyte per second. So those are your options for SSDs, okay? All right, so let's talk about the max capacities per drive. And this does depend on if you have a small form factor chassis or a large form factor chassis. So we'll start with the other two small form factors. Uh, with SAS, you can put in 2.4 terabytes. With SATA, you can put in two terabytes. And with SSDs, you can put in 7.68 terabytes. And that's on a per drive basis, not across the whole machine, but just per slot in the front, okay? Now with the large form factor, uh, this is gonna be the huge benefit is that you can stuff in large drives uh, or large capacity drives drives are relatively cheap, um, especially compared to what it would cost for a 2.5 inch drive. Um, so the large form factor is definitely the best way to go for on the storage side. So with uh, SAS drives, you can get, well, let's start with what Dell says. Dell says that you can get 12 terabytes on SAS, uh, 12 terabytes on SATA, and uh, 7.68 terabytes on um, SSDs. Uh, what we've played around and found out, um, and I'm sure people at home might have even done a little bit higher, and I'd be really interested to hear what people at home have to say, because if you have uh, played around and got higher capacities than what we've tried, please do us a favor and drop the comment down below. I think everyone would be interested to, to hear that. Uh, but what we found for, um, for the large form factors is that you can put in 14 TBs on the SAS side, or excuse me, 16 TBs on the SAS side, 14 TBs on the SATA side, and again, uh, 7.68 on the, or 7.68 0.68 terabytes on the uh, solid state drive side, okay? Um, so that would be just the general max capacities uh, as a whole for uh, the R730 series. Uh, now, as far as uh, installing the drives, um, uh, this is honestly one of the easiest processes. We'll go ahead and show you how to do it, but these are hot swap, um, so it just honestly just pops in and out. Uh, one of the things I do like to tell people is, yes, uh, you can remove a drive while the system is on. That's why it's called a hot swap. You can you know, swap it while the, the system is on. Um, so we'll show you how to do that. Um, then after that, we'll show you how to do uh, Dell Diag and HD Sentinel. Let's get going. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and install them. Um, I did want to note we're going to have a video coming up that's going to show you uh, the differences between the chassis. Uh, this one right here is the 8-bay small form factor. This is a 16-bay small form factor and an 8-bay large form factor. But again, we'll talk about that in a different video. So this is really honestly simple. We're going to go to uh, bay 0 right here, or port 0, however you want to call it. You're just going to line your drive up. You're going to slide it in. When you push it in, you'll notice right when you get to there, it actually caught that before and uh, caught the ESD foam. But it, when it catches the edge of the uh, outside of the chassis is when the uh, bracket starts to push up. You're just going to simply click it into place. If you were trying to remove it because you had a bad one, that circle right there you see, just push that circle and then you pull it out. Uh, it's really just that simple. So you just slide it in, slide it in, and then just make sure you hear that click and it's fully in. So it, honestly, it's a very, very simple uh, upgrade as a whole. Just slide it in, line it up, hear the click. It's uh, again, very just very simple overall. Um, so I'll do all three of them for you real quick. Uh, but again, that's uh, probably the easiest part of this video. So uh, next we'll go ahead and show you how to uh, do Dell Diagnostics uh, and how to use HDD Sentinel. All right, we're gonna start by showing you how to uh, run Dell Diagnostics. Um, and technically, uh, with Dell Diagnostics, it's gonna test more than just your hard drive. It's really gonna test all the components in your system, but this would be how we would recommend testing the hard drives. And yes, it will take some time, so we will fast forward through chunks of this here. So uh, really, it's uh, very simple. You're going to, um, basically on the boot up screen, when you start 
uh, your R730, you're going to hit F10, and this is going to take you to your life cycle controller. When you get to the life cycle controller, you're going to select hardware diagnostics. When you select hardware diagnostics, it's going to take you to another screen here. You're going to select run hardware diagnostics. Fairly simple, right? After you select run hardware diagnostics, it's going to give you the option here. It's going to tell you it's going to take several minutes. Sit, click yes to continue. And after you uh, click yes, it is going to take uh, a bit of time to do all this. The nice thing too is uh, Dell will show you the progress as it goes. It'll show you everything from you know the fans and the memory and uh, the hard drives and a whole bunch of other stuff in here. But specifically on the, in this in this case, what we're going to be looking for is the hard drives. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, fast forward right here because it's going to take a little bit of time. All right, so you can see um, the you know the tests start automatically as soon as you um, you click it. It's really an easy process as a whole. It's just gonna you know run and run and run it, and it's gonna take some time. Uh, in our case, it took us about 10 to 12 minutes for it to uh, to fully test everything here. Uh, once the test is complete, you're gonna get green that's gonna pop up. You know, in this case, it's telling us that there was failures. Check out the results. We click yes, continue testing. It's done. Click OK. You can go into the results, and in the results tab, it'll have all the different hardware. On the left side, it also will show you a green check versus a, a red X. Uh, you can see that all the hard drives passed, uh, all the other stuff, backplane, video card, you know, all the fans were a good processor, memory, etc. Everything's fine on a hardware level. And you can scroll to the top of that results area, and you will see all the, um, the details here on the, uh, the individual drives and uh, which slots they're in. So uh, relatively easy overall. You know, it, it will take some time to run it, but it, you know, realistically it's not you know, that much time um, and making sure that your system is in good working order, it's important. So now we're gonna show you how to do um, HDD Sentinel, uh, which I get is not Dell, but I feel like it's really good for uh, checking on um, power on hours, uh, health scores, and some of this kind of stuff for your drives. So uh, we will continue with that next. All right, so now we've got Hard Disk Sentinel pulled up, and this is uh, relatively simple as well. You just need to make sure you you know download the program. What we actually do is we have a um, a separate server hooked up to a bunch of storage arrays so that we can test in bulk. But you just basically need to make sure you have it hooked up. When you pop in drives, um, they're going to auto populate, and you'll start seeing them pop up on the left. So we're starting off with two in there, but we're going to go ahead and toss two more in as we go. And, and like I said, it's it's relatively simple. You pop them in, they auto populate up. Um, you'll see them on the left. You can click on them, and you'll see you know the health score. Uh, you'll see if it's running hot, if there's too much temperature on there. When you click on them, uh, you can see the power on time in the middle, how much estimated lifetime is left. Um, there's a lot of cool features here. It's a good way to just to make sure that you have a healthy drive because obviously if you're you know, running uh, somebody's data or your own data, you want to make sure that it's protected and not in a drive that uh, is going to fail in the near future. So this is a, a nifty way to test. And also if you're you know, just buying drives from people you don't know um, and you want to make sure you're working with a reputable vendor, this is a great way to physically just test them. So um, you can see we just popped in the 500 gig on another 500 gig and they're popping up on the left. And it's just you know, as simple as just a hot swap or plugging it in and then you can click on it and see um, you know how, how long it's been on. So this one's been on for you know, 2,200 days, 2,600 days. I mean, those are, you know, a fair amount of, of years put into those drives. So those aren't drives that we would personally uh, want to sell or recommend. So even though they're still in good good health, um, they still have 100% health, those aren't drives that we'd really want to use. Now, 500 days, that's really not that bad. It's, you know, less than two years, uh, and you'll have plenty of time left. So, but anyhow, uh, appreciate you stopping by to learn a little bit more about how to test your hard drives. Um, if you're looking for any hard drive upgrades, uh, do us a favor and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Or if you're just looking for a custom-built R730, uh, we'd love to help you out. So email us at sales.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys. Thank you.